Good morning, welcome to Family Math Number 31. Family Math Number 31, and today we're going to study some egg math by this awesome Scottish mathematician named Keith Moffat. Do you know what egg math is? Mm. No? No. No? No. No? Well, Keith Moffat is the guy who figured out why, the math behind why this is true. If you take two eggs, one of them's hard boiled and one of them's not hard boiled, they behave a little bit differently. The hard boiled egg spins when you, when you rotate it and the soft boiled egg doesn't want to spin very well as much. It's much harder to spin. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that. So first of all, do you want to try giving it a spin? Yeah. Okay, now, now this is the first, the most important thing about egg math. We're trying to study some spinning eggs, right? To tell which one's hard boiled and which one's not hard boiled. Do we want to study scrambled eggs? No. <laughs> no. So what do we need to do when we're spinning the eggs? Try not to crack them. Don't crack them. Be careful. Okay, who wants to go first? Okay, how about you? Go ahead. Try Try spinning one, an egg. Okay, that, you're going to try that one, alright? Spin it. See if you can spin it. Hey, that one spins pretty well. Okay, try that one. Hmm, that one doesn't really seem to spin. Okay, go ahead. Try that one. See if you can spin it. Pretty good. Good job. All right. Now yeah, that one. Oh, that one just doesn't want to spin, does it? It just falls over. It just falls over. Just okay. Now there's another neat thing that hard-boiled eggs do. You ready for this? Second thing. This is another thing they they figured out. If you spin a hard-boiled egg on its side, and then you stop it, and then let go, it stops spinning. But when you spin a soft-boiled, or a, sorry, not a soft-boiled egg, an unboiled egg, just a regular raw egg on its side, and you stop it and let it go, it starts spinning again. Isn't that pretty neat? Whoa. Whoa, I wonder why that is. Okay, you want to try, give that a try? Yeah. Okay, so do it first with the, I don't want to make scrambled eggs, so do it with the hard-boiled egg first. Spin it, touch it, and then it, it's, let go, it stops. Okay, it rolls downhill a little bit. Now spin this one gently, touch it gently, and then let go. Spin it gently. Touch it gently, let go. Well, try again. But just touch it real gently to stop it. Just real gently. No, try again. A little more gently. There you go. See how it keeps spinning? Yeah. Okay, you want to try? Huh? All right, spin this one. Touch it. Touch it to stop it and then let go. Oop, touch, touch it to stop it and then let go. And then it stops. Okay, now spin this one. Touch it to stop it, then let go. And then it keeps spinning. Isn't that cool? So that's another way you can tell. And the other thing that... Um, Moffat figured out, and this one might be a little bit hard to see on camera. Let me lower the camera. Hold on one second. Okay, here we go. Here's the other thing that Moffat figured out, and it was later you know, confirmed in 2006. So this is pretty recently, and they figured out why this happens. You spin an egg on its side, a hard-boiled egg on its side, and it'll stand up. You ready? Ready for this? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Look at that. It's magic. It stands up. A hard-boiled egg will stand up when you spin it on its side. And nobody could really understand why that was true, but Mo the Scottish mathematician Moffat figured it out, and then some Japanese mathematicians confirmed his theory. So isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. So who would have thought? Just eggs. Just studying eggs and the difference between a hard-boiled egg that doesn't stand up when you spin it on its side and doesn't want to spin at all when you stand it up. And then the hard the soft, the unboiled egg also, you can stop it spinning and then it starts spinning again. All that stuff is, is, has a lot of really interesting math behind it. And stuff you can do right out in your kitchen. And you know what the best part is? Yep. No scrambled eggs. <laughs> good job, guys. Is that fun? Fun to learn about egg math? Yep. All right. Good job today.